Hello there, everyone. How are you? Casey here. I hope you're well. If you can see me, do let me know. Uh, put a one in the chat if you can uh, see me. We're just getting started just now. You should be able to see me. We are Hello using... Are oh, here? I can tell my audio. One second. Let Let's see if that changed it around. Okay, now, uh, my audio should be better. If it is, just let me know. Put a two in the chat if it's better now. You should be able to hear me. Uh, Let's see if that changed yeah, around. Yeah, uh, there we go. Okay, now, sorry about that. Uh, I was... Audio should be better. If it is, just let me know. Sometimes, sometimes the microphone starts acting a little funny when we do these live. So welcome, you guys. And it was my microphone. It wasn't the software. It was my microphone. Uh, that I was setting up with the software. So welcome everybody, Sharon, uh, Tim, Dave, for everybody who's coming in, welcome you guys. It's great to have you here. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to sharing some cool stuff with you today. Now, I've been trying to, I'm not sure, guys, if we're going to have, and this could be, um, you know, I'm not quite sure what might be happening on her end, but I'm not sure if we're going to be getting, uh, oh wait, no, there she is, Mia is here. Wait, I'm here. She is. She is here. She made it. Thank you. Oh, it's good. To, good to see you, Mia. I'm glad you were able to make it. First, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to come on in. So, welcome, you guys. Can you can you see Mia? Uh, she is popping in every so often. I see that it's. It looks like you're coming in. And Mia, I kind of sw switched uh, something up at last minute with Mia. And what I switched up was I was planning on. I was going to use our Easy Webinar live stream. Uh, application. Sharon says, what a gorgeous lady. Um, <laughs> so you're already getting some love. Um, right. And, you know, but I switched it up with me a last second. I thought, you know what, I'm going to use the YouTube live uh, integration with Easy Webinar instead. And the reason I decided to do that is because right now with our WebRTC, we're still working at uh, making it to where it can create a replay video um, and create essentially an art, uh, uh, um, an MP4. So right now we're sort of working on that and it's gonna be finalized very soon. Um, and I wanted a recording of this and that's essentially why, um, that's why I did this. I did it this way so I could have a recording, I could immediately pop it right in. So uh, Mia, welcome. Thank you for coming to, uh, to this broadcast. Well, thank you for having me. Can you hear me just fine? I hear you great. You guys, can you, can you hear Mia okay? Just put a one in the chat or put a smiley face in the chat or do something like that if you can if you can hear her okay. Yeah, okay, we hear Mia, awesome. So, um, Mia, thank you for, for, uh, for coming on to this broadcast. You know, the idea behind uh, this session, and, and this is something I wanna do more and more of every single week, is, is highlight people that are in very in a variety of different industries that are doing amazing things. They serve amazing people, and they and they're getting results. And you know, I would love that you reached out to me just like I don't know, it was probably two weeks ago, and you told me that you were getting success. You were you were having some successes with Easy Webinar. You said I love Easy Webinar. We've done sixty three thousand in the last two weeks using it, and that of course caught my interest. Where I was like, I need to share. Her story, and occasionally we get people that that do this. They kind of mention, by the way, you know, in the PS or something, that they're getting amazing results. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's highlight you. I want to share what you're doing, how you're doing it, and moreover, I want to share, you know, how your what what your business is in how you're using webinars in your business, essentially. So what I what I'd like to start off from uh, at is essentially, could you share a little bit? about what your business is, who you serve, um, and, uh, and how long you've been doing it. I mean, I know that you are a mom coach, but, and I've, I've checked out your bio and I've done all sorts of, you know, stalking on you, but, um, but I'd love to, to hear about your story as to why you even got into this sort of industry in the first place as a, as a mom coach. Well, you know how many mom coaches you've met, right? So I got yeah. started my business. First of all, I want to just say thank you, Casey, for having me here today. I'm so excited to be here and to share um, with your listeners, you know, what you know, my excitement about using this terrific platform. And I got started my business 
13 years ago and I decided one day I wanted to simply go to work as myself. And I know that people out there can relate to this. I had a background as a corporate trainer. I had great systems in motherhood. So many moms would ask me, how do you do this or that? And I thought if I could put these two things together in a business, this would be the perfect thing for me. Um, and so that was kind of what began this journey of figuring out how to begin what we call now a mom coaching business. I'm a business coach and a mom strategist. And so about 85% of my client base are moms. And then I have, I do have some guys, I give guys some love too. And then I have women who also do not have children. Um, primarily what I do is I support my clients with understanding first and foremost that they are product, that you can take your background, your gift, your education, your experience, and package your know-how into a monetizable product, just like I did. I built my brand from scratch, standing on my background as a corporate trainer, and knowing how to build curriculum. So that's kind of how I got started you know, in my business. And I honestly, there was no roadmap at all. I led with my heart and I led with my skills. And I always tell my clients exactly the same, you know, so oh, I love did that, that answer your question? Yes, I love that. You know, the, the one thing that really resonated with me is, you know, when we're starting a business or we're, you know, looking at how do I, how do I differentiate myself in the marketplace and, you know, and can I truly trust the gifts that I have? I mean, these are two of the biggest questions that people have. And it's just so refreshing to know that you focused on really where your passions lie, your children, your family, and your business strategy um, capabilities. And, and those two things are what drove you to where you're at today. So I think it's, fa I'm, I, I'm just amazed by it. And you know, what's also cool is that, you know, you said you focused on this one path, this one journey, but while you were speaking, you said, you know, we have people that are not moms, we have men, in the group as well. So it's nice to also know that, you know, just because we try to, we, we find a pinpointed positioning in, in whatever business we create, other people can get folded into it, right? We're not, we're not sort of, um, you know, pigeonholing our, I guess, ourselves into this is the only, these are the only people that we're ever going to serve. Um, but I think that, and, and I'd love to hear what you, how you feel about this, that you have to start somewhere. What do you think? Oh, I, I agree. You have to start somewhere. And, you know, I think mastery is what guides where you go from there. And what I realized for myself was my mastery is that I have, I know how to take anything and turn it in, in it into a product. And so that was my mastery. And that was not distinct just to men or just to women or just to moms. It was for all people. And so that's why I decided to open you know, my doors to other people. And I think a lot of entrepreneurs, particularly those of us, when we first get started, or if you are, let's say, a thought leader, you know, if you want to be a mom coach 13 years ago, you know, there were not a lot of examples of people to, to, to look at or how to structure that business. And I think a lot of times, Casey, we become afraid. I mean, you know this, you're an innovator, you play in that space. It, you know, you, it's a scary place to be a thought leader, right? To be mm -hmm. bringing something to the marketplace that doesn't, you know what I mean? Doesn't have a name, you know, you don't yeah. know how it's, what it's gonna look like. And that's why it's so important to stand on your skills, your talent, your brilliance, and know that that's enough. You know, and I, I, I completely 100% agree with you. I think there, there is that, there's that point, you know, when we're, when we know our stuff so well, but at the same time, there's that also that pressure of, of, you know, are we this valuable? Can we actually come and bring these, these things to the table? So, you know, at every point in your life, right? And I love that I, we kind of went on this topic and I think it's great because I mean, you know, for people that are kind of creating their own businesses, a coaching uh, practices and or products that they're trying to sell online, you know, the, you, are a, you are all big vision people. And so you're doing really, really amazing things. And, you know, a lot of that is we have to be able to, you know, to be, to be able to almost like have our own coffers filled with, trusting our own, um, you know, what we can bring to the table. Uh, and, and I think that's, that's 
amazing that we're focusing on this because there's always going to be doubt. You're always going to have frustration. You're never always going to be completely sure. And a good coach or good expert knows that they don't know everything as well as they, I, I heard this just a couple of, like yesterday, you know, they move, they move scared where other people that, that, you know, other people that don't have successful businesses, oftentimes they don't move at all. They're scared right. stiffless, right? But if you move scared be, and you're excited because you, you know, you have this thing, you trust it, you know, it's going to, you, you want it to happen. you you just keep driving for it. And eventually, you know, eventually it happens, but there's always those points in your life where you're always going to have that, uh, the feeling that, that you're, you know, you're like the, the, the you know, that, that you're, you're faking it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Um, so anyway, I love that, that you shared that. And so let's, let's, let's talk about this. So, you know, you wanted to, you came out there, you shared your gifts of, you know, being, um, a mom sort of, it, did you call her a mom specialist or str mom strategist? Mom That's strategist. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I think, is that because, you know, as a, as a mom or even a, you know, a father or someone in their family who's trying to find that priority, I, I wouldn't even say balance, but it's that, how do you find that priority in your life to where you can, you know, where you can have the family life that you want while at the same time have the business that you want is ultimately that's what, is that why you created the business in the first place? Well, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, my story was that my husband developed kidney disease eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I had to have strategy in order for me to grow my business there that I needed to be able to be there for him. But I also needed to figure out a way to be able to grow a business that was time rich for me. Um, mm -hmm. And so that I could generate income, you know, for my family. And I did exactly that. And I learned over the years that the way that people experience my coaching uh, is that I teach the how to and that's more strategy oriented. Um, you know, in terms of the process that by which I coach my clients. So I'm the mom strategist and that's kind of how that, that all happened. I mean, I literally just surveying my clients and looking at my life and realizing that in order for me to solve what was in front of me, building mm -hmm. time rich models, um, figuring out a way how to coach my clients literally around the world from the comfort of my home. And, you know, I just want to say this, that, you know, in my coaching practice, what was realistic for me was. I could not go on the road. So that my life did not support that. So I needed models that allowed me to be able to build my business and still be there for my family from the comfort of my house. And that's what I've done. I work about 31 hours a month from the comfort of my home. And I love how I built this business. And but it's all it was all driven on the kind of strategies that I needed to put in place to be able, one, to generate a very strong income for my family, but right. also to be able to you know, have a business that didn't own me, you know, or yeah. that I couldn't generate income if I didn't go on a road, which is what you know a lot of coaches do. And right. so I'm happy to say, you know, like this year I haven't gone on the road at all. I haven't done anything this year um, in my business on the road, and I'm close to a half a million dollars in my business working from my house, and really excited about that. Wow, that's amazing, and I I absolutely love that. You know. Sometimes to me, I'm almost thinking, I almost say that I feel like we have more capabilities of, of, of doing something like that to where you're not, when you say going on the road, I think you mean like speaking at events and doing the whole yeah. seminar thing that a lot of coaches tend to do. Uh, but what was amazing is your, your restriction became your greatest gift. And, yes. I, and I think that's, uh, you know, truly... Uh, remarkable story, a truly remarkable thing when you when people start to realize, oh, well, I could do this anywhere because a webinar, you know, you can coach anywhere and okay. you could do anything with this. So I want to pivot now. Let, if you don't mind, I'd love to talk about some of the some of the things you you know, the, the results that you're getting, because, you know, I mean, a lot of these people, they, they would love to know what are some results? How did you get there? You know, you're, you're doing amazing with uh, with where you're at in your business right now. Um, Talk, talk about, you know, what was your thought process around webinars, easy webinar, and, and then, you know, lead us maybe down the path of, of what was your experience, if you can. Okay, so this is, this is the funny part, Casey, and you don't yeah. know this at all, okay, because okay. we just met here, okay? Yeah, so, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, for the last 13 years, I built my business doing teleseminars, okay? So, mm. let me tell you why. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not tech. I'm not high tech. That's why it took me long to get on here today. Right. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a techie <laughs> at all, like at all. Okay. Right. So that's the first reason, but I could pick up a phone. And so, you know, I chose a platform that would totally work for me. Mm-hmm. And then I, you, you know, I do periscopes, which I love and they're easy because all I have to do is hit like a go live button, but I, mm-hmm. That's as close to a webinar that I've done, you know, and that's not a webinar in the last two years since that platform came out. Yeah. And then I had this thought. I was like, I should do a webinar, right? It's been 13 years. I've never done one webinar. Yeah. I've been a guest on other people who've done summits. I've been a guest on their shows, you know, and I, all I had to do was hit a link and, and I was on there. But I never had the courage or the skill, uh-huh. okay, <laughs> right, to yeah. do a webinar, all right, until now. And so it, at the end of May, I think it was, I said, okay, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to do a webinar, but I've got to find an easy way to do webinars, okay? Mm-hmm. And so I started looking at all the different ones, and literally, I put them all like side by side, did trials and all of these things, because I'm looking for, it's got to be easy, okay, because yeah. I had not done one webinar, not one, all right, right. before I used easy webinar. And I picked that platform easy webinar. I, 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 I liked it. It seemed like something I could do. All right. And so that's how, she, that's how I picked the nice. platform. And isn't that, isn't that funny? So literally I love it because I'm, I honestly, I'm, I'm like the least technical person ever. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Ease of use. That was the number one priority yeah. uh, to be able to reach people. And I knew that if it were great, it was a great platform. If it was hard for me to use, it didn't matter because, you know what I mean, I wouldn't be able to use it and I wouldn't use it frequently. Right, right. Well, I love that. I absolutely love that. And thank you for saying that because, you know, we, you know, we, we, there's a lot of capabilities of Easy Webinar from the live aspect that we're doing now. Uh, You know, we're using YouTube Live, but we also have this new live engine that we just rolled out as well. Um, And, you know, you could do automated webinars with our system, which is another whole level of, you know, of using, you know, the power of of essentially uh, automation to to you know to give yourself more time. And you know, if you're if you're looking to build out, you know, automated funnels, automated webinars are probably hands down the best. So that's another element that we have. Uh, and actually, after this, this will probably turn into. Actually, no, this is our weekly webinar, so it's going to be it's going to show automatically next week's date for Thursday. But in a normal scenario, I would take this and turn it directly into an automated webinar to get more people watching it more often. Um, so, so let's let's talk about this, Mio. How did you use Easy Webinar? You said you know I did sixty three thousand. Let's just get to it. How were how were you able to do that? Okay. What did what did you do? Did you do live okay. webinars, automated webinars? What was your what so, was your thing? If you don't mind sharing your no, I don't mind sharing it all. And and, and now we're at eighty seven thousand dollars. Just check the numbers this morning, which is awesome. Oh, nice. But wow. This, this is what happened. The, I did three webinars. Okay, like I did three easy webinars. The first one, mm-hmm. I forgot to hit something. So you know what I mean. So I the people were there. I sent yeah. an email to my list, yeah. and I wasn't there. I wasn't able to show up. And then the second one, I didn't have a good signal in my house. Okay, so that was the second webinar that I did here. Yeah. Um, and I didn't have a great signal. So it was there, it was working, but because my signal was slow, you know, mm-hmm. it was a slow webinar. So the third webinar, which was like amazing, I do this third webinar, I email my list and um and I automated, I made it, I made it evergreen. Um, mm-hmm. and had amazing results. And so that's what we are using now. The third, literally the third webinar that I've ever done on easy webinar has done over $87,000. I think it's $87,894. Wow. Um, and that's been, well, I signed up on May the 27th. I don't think I did the first webinar for like two weeks or something like that. So in that short period of time, that's what has happened. So I run ads to um, to my webinar, my automated webinar. Mm-hmm. People watch it, um, and then we follow up. We make an offer to them, and we follow up with them. Um, and many of them have said yes to the offer. Wow! So that's really what I've what I've done. And I know that there are some people out there listening and say, "This is really simple." Here's the deal: this was very easy to do. The platform was amazing. Okay. It recorded the webinar, you know what I mean? It recorded and it was a great, um, you know, a great recording. 
And then we were able to automate it, you know, make it evergreen and then run Facebook ads to, um, to that webinar so that it could keep working, you know, for me every single day. So I guess we have somewhere between uh, 30 and 45 people that see this webinar every single day. Every single day. Every single, yeah. Every single day. Okay, cool. What, what's the, so what is your offer? Is it a high ticket offer, I'm assuming? It is. So you have two options. You have one option is a $4,800 offer, mm -hmm. and the other um, is a to apply for a strategy session if you want something different to work with me, uh, and that offer is $10,500. And what, the reason I love the webinar versus the teleseminar, which is what I've always used, mm -hmm. is because people can get a feel for my personality. I'm very, you know, I'm very straightforward. What you see is what you get. Yeah. And it allows me, it allowed me in a way to show things that I could, can't show on a telesummit so, or a teleseminar, right? Yeah. Because I had my books. I did a, um, the, the one webinar, okay, the one webinar that I've done, um, I teach people how to package position price um, what they know, all right, and mm -hmm. to be able to, to sell it. And so I'm able to show them countless number of products, books that I supported my clients with and how they've been able to generate income from it. I wouldn't have been able to do it the same way on a teleseminar because you wouldn't have seen, seen the covers and, and things yeah. like that. So I love it because I can show, you know, I always say it's not show and tell, it's tell and show, right? So I'm, not, I'm able to tell them, but I'm also able to show them using your webinar system exactly, you know, the kind of results my clients are getting. Mm, I love this. You know, what I, what I also love is that the model that you're using is a, a high ticket uh, consulting model. I mean, yeah. you're exactly doing uh, an automated webinar, Facebook ads to an automated webinar where people then come in. And uh, so, I, so your two pricing, you have 4,800 and 10,000, where 10,000, I'm assuming that's one-on-one, -on -one, 48 is what, a, a group coaching no, or how's that work? Uh, so the 10,000 program is a group coaching program um, mm -hmm. that I offer. It's a 12-month coaching program for uh. people who are building their brands from scratch. And the 4,800 is also a group coaching program for someone that wants to work with you know, a master coach and get their questions answered at a high level. You know, do this, do that, this resource, this price. Um, because a lot of times people don't move forward because they, uh, they have the talent. They just don't know what to do. Right. And that's what I teach. So That's amazing. Now, do you have coaches in your uh, that, that work with you or do you do the coaching yourself? I do the coaching myself. That's awesome. Now, I'm, I'm just, I, I hope it's okay that I'm drilling you on this stuff yeah, because okay. I, be I, I love it. I love this stuff. So, um, so okay, the, 10, the 10K, you're doing it to where it's over 12 months. And how often time, how often are you meeting uh, these people that are in that program? So three hours a month. My core mom's coaching program is um, three hours a month. One business call, one life call, one live Q&A each and every month. Um, me live on the calls with my clients every month over the course of 12 months. So three hours nice. a month, 36 hours a year. Nice. And then the 4,800, just so I understand what that is, is it's that- It's 90 minutes a month. It's how many? 90 minutes a month. 90 minutes a month, group coaching. That's correct, but they also get some automated curriculum. So they're about 13 hours of a curriculum called how to leverage what you know and build a six-figure business from the comfort of your home mm. using teleseminars, webinars, live events, um, and you know, time-rich models. So I they get it. that curriculum and they also get scope school, which is a whole other thing. But um, I do the periscopes and then I have about 480 of those videos and they mm -hmm. get that also as part of their curriculum in that $4,800 model as well. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to get a little, even, even a little more geeky with you. So of the 40 people that show up to the webinar, you say about 40 people. I don't know if you know your numbers that much, but so we had, um, we have had, um, I'm going by memory. Um, we've had about 700 people register for this webinar mm -hmm. uh, since I started, uh, about 300, about half, about half have seen, about 350 some um, plus as of this morning have seen the webinar. Um, yeah. We mostly reach out to people who have seen at least 30% of the webinar. Those are the mm -hmm. people who I talk with um, mm -hmm. from there. So what was your question? So, okay, so you reach out to the people that, so, do you you reach out to them you get them on a call or do you have them fill out an application from the webinar itself both so um they they fill out an application for a call for a strategy session they do. and if they qualify 
um, meaning they're the kind of people that I work with, um, then we book a strategy session with them. It's, it's an automated process that happens, you know, provided they answer the questions in a certain way. Got it. Uh, and then how many people get on strategy calls with you per, uh, per day based on? Okay. Uh, usually somewhere between three and five. So five is my max a day. I can't talk more than that, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but three to five a day. Got it. Okay. Three to five a day. You're in that three to five a day is essentially people they're signed up to your webinar. Your webinar does the job of getting them super excited about it. By the time you get them on the phone, they're probably that much easier to, to, you know, to obviously know that your program is right for them. Right. So they That's come, right. they come in. Uh, okay. so I'm interested. Okay. So you get about half show up and then of those half you, you get, um, we get about 15% of the people that have seen 30% as applicants. So, um, okay. that was what I was trying to get there, but my brain wasn't working as fast yeah. as what so you about 15% of them, um, are, um, apply for strategy session. I think out of that 357, we've got, uh, 44 of the people became applicants. All right. Um, mm -hmm. and so, uh, keep in mind that the 357 is not the 30%. I don't know that number by heart right now. Um, right. that, okay. So 15%, that's about 44 applications we had as of this morning. And then about 20% of them become customers. Got it. Wonderful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, and then, you know, when you're talking and, and I think you're doing the, the calls with them, you're the one that's getting on the phone yeah. and you're like, so let me ask you, do you, when you get on the phone with somebody, um, you know, by the time that they've got, they've gone through this already, they're probably at a point where they're like, you know, either they're ready, but they maybe have some ob objections in the webinar and this because we have people that are probably going to be really interested to know this about what the webinar should serve in the webinar do you tell what your pricing is or, or um not? i think in that i've only done the one webinar uh casey i'm trying to remember i believe i do tell them what the price is i always tell my clients though there are no secrets like mm -hmm. if it's forty eight hundred dollars it's forty eight hundred dollars if it's ten thousand five that's what it is yeah. And so people need to know that in advance. And um, I think that one of the biggest issues sometimes if you're doing live streaming or even if you're doing a webinar or a teleseminar is that we hover, we keep the prices secret um, as a, you know what I mean? Like it's going to make a difference. Like it's not going to yeah. make a difference. If people right. like what you bring to the table, if they trust your expertise, if you're crushing the results, you've got testimonials you can show, if you can transfer success from yourself to other people, what's the problem in saying what the price is? And granted, there are some people that are gonna prejudge and say, I don't know, I don't know. But if they really like what kind of results you're creating, most of them are gonna still be curious enough to find out, is there something else? Mm, got it, yeah. Um, and I think you're right. I think trust is a very important thing and 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 sharing sharing everything uh, immediately doesn't mean that you're going to lose a sale. And a lot of people worry about that, you know, with that whole, even pitching in a webinar. Cause I've, you know, I very rarely do webinars where I get on coaching. I get people on coaching calls. I do have an automated webinar that does that. But, um, a lot of my webinars are selling right from the webinar itself. You know, there's a thing where you're like, okay, pop up the buy now button right at the time that you're offering, you know, the, the pitch. Um, but I, uh, some of our customers have actually shown the buy now button on an automated webinar or live webinar right away immediately and still had extreme success. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, if you don't, if you know, John Lee Dumas, he does that, uh, where the buy now button pops right in right at the start of the webinar still has, you know, tremendous conversions on it. So yeah, I, I think that. I think people understand what they're that they're coming in and there's going to be some sort of offer and there's money involved and if the more upfront you're you you are about it I think the better. So okay. So uh, another another quick question for you. W do you know the scheduling and I I'm not sure if you knew I was going to ask you so many like no, questions I did Okay. okay, questions about like the scheduling of your webinar. Do you use what feature, if you know, of ours do you use for your automated webinar? Do you stream it, say, a few times a day uh, in in your attendees time zone or yes. uh, or one singular time zone? Do you know what I mean when I say that? Um, well, that 
I don't know. I think we do it in their time zones multiple times a day. That I do know. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't do that part. Somebody on my team did do that. Yeah. Um, but I know that you can see it multiple times a day. Yeah, and I mean, like, if it show, if you decided I'm going to stream it at eleven, two, and seven, me watching it in Pacific Standard, I see it. It's going to be at eleven my time. You watching. That's how we yeah, do it. I figured I figured that's that's how it was because that you get a more worldwide audience that way. So I don't know if you have like people, uh, you know, uh, um, in England or other parts of the country or parts of the world that are uh, a part of your community. But obviously, by having that scheduling, you get more people watching like people in Australia can finally see it, you know, because it yeah. streams in their time. Um, okay, that's what I, I, I was wondering if you did that or if you did uh, what we know as uh, um, right on time where it can start and show the next increment or next webinar starts every 15 minutes. You know, that's another way. A uh, cat was asking, we would love to see her webinar. Uh, can she, can you ask her to give us the link? So, All right, let me, pull. Well, I got to grab the link. You guys know I'm not technical. So let me grab that. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to put it just in this uh, Google hangout room, right. I'll put okay. it into the actual, uh, okay. uh, and you just put it in the chat. Oh yeah. You guys will love it too. It's good. Yeah, this is exciting. Um, guys, what we're going to do is I'm probably going to have, uh, we're going to create a blog post about this. So me, I'm going to create a blog post about it. This interview is going to be there and we're probably going to kind of look at what you're doing uh, on the pages and what you can, and kind of do a little breakdown type of thing. So um, I can't wait to, to share it if that's cool, if we if we share that out, some of the results you're getting and, and, uh, and highlight sure. you a bit. Um, what was I going to ask? So, uh, I, I knew I was going to, so, and you've been doing this for how, how long? The webinar? Yeah. Well, like you've been doing teleseminars, webinars for how long? Um, well, I, I bought the um, program on, what was it? The end of May, May 20th yeah. or something like that. Um, I think we started it maybe like two weeks um, later. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, but like I said, the first one, I couldn't figure out how to get people on it, right? Right. So, but, um, but, okay, okay. I, I see, I see. But I mean, like, I'm like brand new with this. I, and I've gone on two vacations in the middle of it. And, and that's all I'm saying about it. I, I um, oh, this is good. Right. July 13th, right? Yeah. So, um, so I've been doing it for like a month, maybe. Like a month. Got it. Yeah. Oh, I like, I like the, the page looks great. Are you there? Okay, uh -huh. I just got the link. It's bit.ly, um, how to leverage. That's funny. That's My good. assistant sent it to me. She um, it looks nice. Thank you. I absolutely love it. Um, okay. It's really great. So, oh, so I, I just love that. So is this is, have you, since you've been using like webinars, have you noticed a big like, uh, in, uh, you know, spike in income or uh, use of a, a, a way to free up your time more. Like, was your was your time a little more hampered before you started well, using Easy Webinar webinars? I can't say that, um, but I can say this: that what this has done is to me is warmed up my audience so much more because I feel like they get to know me so mm -hmm. much quicker, um, and they um, you know they get to know me sit quicker um, and sooner. And faster, I think I, I think I gave you guys the right link. I'm hoping that I is the right link. Yeah, you did is it. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, um, so see, see, you guys, there is hope, right? Because I'm telling you, I'm like like the least technical person in the world, and I got this to work. And um, so, yeah, Robbie, Robbie says, love your registration page. Anne says, beautiful registration page. Mia, Paula says, beautiful. How did she custom customize the page? Well, she didn't actually. That's using. Uh, that's using the uh, Chris Luck theme and just adding uh, some HTML to it, guys. Uh, you know, in the in the boxes that you have there. So you you can add an image there. You can add an image right on on the front uh, part of it, and and you just you just build it out. So it's uh, so yeah, it's not that's not really custom. It's just beautiful looking. It's just like laid out really nicely and looks really really good. So yeah, I love it. Yeah, because you have that. Um, featured in uh, image. Oh, you know what? Underneath. I think I, I think the one that you need to use is this one, leveraging what you know, not the first one, because I think that was the first one that was slow. Let me see. 
maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's leveraging what you know is, is what it says at the top, okay. right? Yeah, okay. you, were, you did it right. You need a, okay. you did it right. Your, your tech skills are on. You're doing it. So, so you guys should have hope because literally yeah. when I tell you I got this to work and to, you know, to be amazing, it's been great. I mean, my team does all the technical things in terms of doing the graphic design and things like that, but I still had to make it go. And I'm not a very technical person to make things go like that. So, um, so there you go. Yeah, it's great. Um, so, you know, what's, what's your, what's your plan for the future? Are you going to use this more often and just use it as like a lead generator and get, and just continue on the, the path you're doing? Or you're going to like, what, what's your, what's your plan for, for growth? Um, well, I mean, I, I think that any new product that I have, undeniably, I have to use a webinar because this converted so amazingly well. I love the fact that every day I get applications that are filled out as a result of somebody watching this webinar and I am doing, you know, living my life. That I love yeah. um, so much about this platform. And, um, and I also love the fact that when I get on the phone with someone that's seen it, they feel like... They know me, you know what I mean? They feel like yeah. they really have connected. And I tell you what else I love about this easy webinar is that every single day, there's a, um, a comment section where people are watching the webinar can write you. And we get like, I would say <laughs> we get maybe like somewhere between 15 and 30 or so comments every single day, like people who are truly engaged in yep. watching it, right? Yep. And that to me, is great because if you're doing any of these platforms what you want to know is that are the people with you like are they you know what i mean are they yeah. are they into it or was this good for them and i always ask them you know did you get value did this serve you in some way and they write like i got value this was really good this is what i learned and so i understand you know what it is and also if somebody wanted something different my team's been able to follow up with them and say hey mia can explain that to you maybe you need to book a strategy session if they did not Yes. Yes. I mean, that's, you know, I, I think the follow up is something that people don't really think about. They don't do a lot of. Um, mm -hmm. And, and I, I get the same thing. I get constant, you know, if I look at my phone, I'll get emails that are from people that are watching my automated webinar, right? And, and it's going, I have it actually directed into another email where I can have support answering any questions that are happening during the webinar itself. And it's, it's a really great experience. And, and for those of you guys wondering, you know, I, I teach how to set up an automated webinar um, to where you, you got to make sure you're setting expectation because, you know, if, if you have a question box on there and then they feel like you're not answering them, you have to explain early and set up that expectation, say something like, Hey, listen, you know, you are, um, you know, this is going to be a, like a 30 minute, 40 minute, 45 minute webinar. I'm going to try to get your questions answered. I have a, a bit of a Q&A I'm going to share at the end. Now, if I don't get to your questions here in this webinar, don't worry, someone, either myself or from my team, will answer you with a customized email back to you, right? Or a personalized email response to, to your question. Um, by doing something like that, you don't get, then people aren't mad when you don't reply to them, right? During, during an automated webinar, right? So it's, it is, there, there's really great ways to set up that expectation. And then they love, I have, I've gotten messaging before saying, I love the fact that, uh, I was able to get an, a private email response from you. And I'm sure you get that too, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. It's, that's, that's terrific. And I love the fact that you actually, you email these folks back. Uh, the people that came to the webinar and you essentially say, Hey, listen, you, you know, whether you miss some of it, uh, some of it or not, you, um, here, here's the application to come on through. Sounds that's like right. that's what you're doing. That's awesome. Yeah. That you have to do that because you pay for the traffic and they're there. Yeah. They were interested, but maybe the baby cried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe the dog went missing, you know, something yeah. like that. So you got to follow up with the people. Yeah. So the other thing is what I love about what you're talking about is, you know, with your programs, you're essentially doing a, your, your, your 4,800 or your, your 10 K I'm assuming, I'm assuming the, those are first off you, do you have pay, uh, payment plans for those? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 1500 down $700 a month or 397 a month. Got it. Got it. Okay, cool. 
cool. Three ninety seven a month. That's for uh, the ten. Forty eight hundred. Oh, the forty eight hundred. Okay, got it. Okay, very nice. Awesome. So, um, so in that, you know, you 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 have a resource for them. The, I think a big question a lot of people have is how do I get people into a program like this where it's structured so that I'm leveraging my time without having to do so much one on one stuff, but still providing the value to each individual person and each individual person's specific needs. Do you find that the group coaching does that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, my core mom's coaching program is in its 12th or 13th class. Um, and I've only done group coaching programs with my clients. I do have very few of my, my about 5% of my client base are one-to-one -one coaching. Mm -hmm. um, I coach all of my clients for the most part in a group and they benefit right. from being in a group. Um, and I think that when people are saying that it's because they don't understand what a profitable model looks like. They also don't understand um, how to build out yet a, a program that really services what that client truly needs. So, you know, and you see this, I see this all the time. Um, when I'm working with like a newer coach, they're thinking more time, you know, giving someone information through a fire hose is the way to do it. When what great coaching is, is allowing that client to implement and create a transformation. If your clients don't get results, then you're out of the coaching business, yeah. right? And the only way they're going to get a result uh, uh, from you as a coach is if you give them the time and the format to be able to create the success and that's what I find that you know a lot of a lot of people are looking to build coaching businesses are truly missing is that you know they, they want to talk to everybody in 12 weeks and expect you to overcome everything in your life in the 12 week period of time and talk to you every single week in reality that's not how we learn like you know you, you learn how to dance by dancing not yeah. by, you know what I mean, just the one class. You have to go out and practice dancing. And, right. uh, you know, and that's true of almost anything that we're teaching. And I know that for what I offer, I'm teaching them to build a brand from scratch to package, position and price their products. You know, you're going to pitch your corporation. you got to wait for them to respond. So we did that. If I said we compressed all of those things in a short period of time, they wouldn't have the opportunity to have questions or get letters back or, you know what I mean? And, and mm -hmm. um to get and create a great result. So, so do you, so you, do you, uh, drip feed your content over a period of time for, uh, for these folks or is it more of in the group coaching no, itself? Uh, no, I mean, we have programs that operate like that, like scope school is like that, mm. but my primary uh, signature coaching programs, I'm on those calls live. It's seven hours of my 31 hours a month. I'm on those calls live coaching my clients, um, right. through and answering their questions. Um, each and every month. Got it. Okay. And then the, they get access to your, some hub of some kind that has. That's correct. Yeah. They get access to a portal that stores all the information that they need so that they can go back and re-listen to the calls or get the workbooks or the assignments so that, you know, they can now do the work. But like, you know, like most of us, you sat in a classroom, any classroom you were in, it didn't matter. You heard what the teacher was saying, didn't mean you understood it. You know what I mean? You didn't have right. you didn't have mastery in that moment. You needed mm -hmm. to hear it. You needed to probably look at it again, check your notes, read that again, yeah. and then maybe go do something, right? In order yeah. for it to truly be a knowing. And that's that's true of almost any business. And that's where the 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 the, be, the ability to do the 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 group coaching, talk to you directly, hear what you're saying to to give others the, the advice that they need can resonate with anybody on the call. At that point and that's that's where it kind of is is powerful because people have aha moments all the time right sure. and group coaching is a gel I mean assuming that in, any of your listeners who are thinking about doing group coaching I mean here's the coolest part if you're if you're coaching I coach authors speakers coaches and consultants right and so anybody on my calls that's what those are the categories that you're in okay and so that means that any question is being asked likely you you probably got a seventy five percent chance, right? That 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 you can hit multiple areas within that, right? If you're an author or a speaker, some of my authors are speakers, or some of my authors are coaches, and you yeah. know that kind of thing. So listening in a group context to other questions that are being asked, or laser coaching that maybe you didn't know to ask that question, but someone asked a question that you really needed to know, and that's the benefit 
of being in group coaching. I like one-to-ones too, but there's nothing like doing group coaching with clients, coaching clients, and helping them get a great and amazing result and building a community of like-minded people. And that's what I think is awesome about this kind of technology as well. Yeah, that's great. That's so great. Thank you so much for sharing all this just amazing information, amazing content. Thank you. Um, you know, I just, I love highlighting and, and just showing showing people that are that are doing amazing things. And, um, you know, if, if, if you guys are interested in learning more about what Mia is doing as it relates to how she's doing her business, um, you know, uh, there are people saying, uh, how much does she spend in ads? What does Mia use for her portal? Um, the archive portal, I, I'm assuming it's a membership platform like sure, Kajabi exactly. or Kajabi, but Kajabi, Thinkific, Teachable, those are all really great ones. Yep. Yep. And I started using Teachable guys. It's a really good stuff. I have Kajabi as well. I'm like one of those people that buy everything, just yeah. like the majority <laughs> of us. Um, what program did she use to develop the registration page? That is easy webinar. <laughs> webinar. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing, that's the, probably the best question that we've had today. <laughs> What program did she use to develop the registration page? It's been fantastic. So grateful to Mia, says Sharon. Thank you, Sharon, for coming. Um, so one, one other question I have for you before you know, we start to close this, this down um, is I'd love to ask you, do you continuously do these programs or is there an open enrollment for like the next four weeks or eight weeks or something like that? Um, so Core Moms is continuous. We have a class every single month, new moms sign up. Um, and so um, it's every single month and the same is true with um, my other program as well, the giant circle um, that I offer on the webinar. So most of my programs run every single month. You can sign up at any time. Okay. You can sign to up. Be, at to be, I used to, you could do it like three times a year, but you know, now we have so many moms that want in. And so we just do it every single month. It's rolling admission. It's great. Um, a great group of women. They're sharp, you know, they're smart. All the women I work with believe in self-investment. They're just trying to figure out how to take their know-how and package it in a product. Yeah. Okay. So you can come in at any time and pretty much anybody comes in, they're getting access to that next coaching that you're going to be doing that next week or whenever that is, right? Like at um, any yeah. Point. So um, they have some pre-work that they all start with. Um, mm -hmm. And then, then we start with their coaching curriculum. It's a structured, there's a structured curriculum um, that we get everybody going with. I got it. Okay. But, but when you do the coaching, it's pretty much Q and a, you're there, you're there to support them, but the curriculum that they come through, it's already pre-done essentially. No, I teach it every single month. I teach oh. seven hours every single month to my clients. There's a new class and an old class. So that's why it's seven hours. So the giant circle is one call that's 90 minutes a month. So you guys hear me on this. Okay. That's 90 minutes a month. Okay. And then I have a uh, an old class of core moms and I have a new class of core moms and the new class is three hours and the old class is three hours and that's seven hours by which I coach my clients every single month. So hopefully that clarifies. I think it, it did to a degree um, because so you, you're always every four weeks you're bringing. So if I ca if someone came into the middle of the month and you're two weeks into your program, they can still sign up. Correct. But then they're, they're moved to, they're in a new class and they're, they're likely to pre work to get started. So I see. And they're going to be moved to the new class that starts at the beginning of the next month. That's cool. Oh, that makes sense. This makes a lot of sense now. Okay. I was, I was trying to wrap my mind around it, but now I, I completely get it to where got anybody it, you could, got it. You got it. Yeah, they could come in at any moment and they're going to be pushed back. If they come in at the beginning of when a new of a, the, the class starts, they'll start that class. But if they come in the middle, they'll start a new class at the beginning of the month or whenever you start the class again. That's correct. Okay. And I think I did give you both webinars. So this will be interesting for your listeners too. I think one is the old one and one is the new one. And so the old one is the slow one. Remember I was telling you about the one that I've only done three. So the yeah. first one didn't work. The, the second one was the slow one so you'll see that and then you'll see the one that works so those which i think is really great you'll be able to see um you know the difference between the two let me i'll i'll, I'll check them out i i feel like i only have one though uh, um, I, don't, I don't you know you know i you know i don't know i think i did though um and then um and also casey you maybe you're going to ask me this but i do yeah. want to um shout out your full scope because see <laughs> i just started using easy webinar but i've been using full scope since it came out from the very beginning and I love it. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah. Um, funny enough, I just tested out today the new uh, Facebook Live analytics that we're going to be rolling in. Um, so that's exciting. So we're going to be doing a new launch on on fullscope.tv. I'm going to be reaching out to all my favorite people that are that are using it and their business. I'll, I'll be doing something similar like this, but around full scope. How are you using it? What is the benefit for you? Are you getting coaching clients from full scope, you know, going back in and looking and tweeting them out directly? Uh, and I, for those who don't know full scope, it's my other software uh, that is a marketing and analytic tool for Periscope, Snapchat, Facebook Live now. Um, and, you know, uh, and, and to me, I, I love live video clearly. That's, that's, it's my favorite thing. What we, what I have done in the past is my methodology was do a Periscope broadcast and drive people to an automated webinar. Facebook, Facebook ads work great too, but you know, we all have to create content in our business. So if you can create content where you're doing a broadcast and you're automatically, you, you have to send them somewhere. I yeah. typically always send people into an automated webinar because it's like, it does everything I need it to do for me. Right. It does all the nurture it it gets in and if you're getting a strategy call it does all of that work so uh once you have an automated webinar up like what mia's put together which i'm looking at right now it's just fabulous looking um I, I can't wait to kind of highlight it um you know now you have something that just works for you that you don't have to worry about you know it's it's there it's doing a trick you create content with something like periscope you create some facebook ads and drive traffic now you're starting to create a business because, and a business that's fun because who doesn't love creating content? You know, and I know a lot of us get scared about putting the camera up, but this is an amazing tool where we could just broadcast from anywhere in the world and share bite-sized uh, bits of content to, that get, that go to everyone. And then, you know, and then, and then you're, you're consistently um, building your email list. So at some point I might ask to pick your brain again on that too. <laughs> I love the full scope. It's been great. Good. Thank you so much. Um, guys, can we give a, a big thank you to Mia for sharing her time today um, and coming in? If um, Andrea says, great webinar, great learning community design. Thank you, Mia. Uh, you. Uh, Entire is asking, does Mia have clients from Africa? I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Roby is saying, thanks, Mia. Um, so yeah, you guys, awesome. Thank you. Wildly clapping, Sharon says. Um, Anne says, thank you, Mia. So everyone is is just very thankful uh, that you came. They're, they're all awesome. awesome. Yeah, great learning. Great, yes, uh, Mia, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure about the Africa question, but that's... So I have, uh, I, don't, I don't know that I've had any clients that uh, have been in Africa. I mean, it wouldn't, I mean, I have clients, 25% of my clients are from the Caribbean. So, and I have, um, I have lots of clients like from, from Europe, um, but the vast majority of my international clients are from the Caribbean. So, um, so, you know, I work with people everywhere. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. That's a great part of technology. I mean, you know, all you've yeah. got to do is, I mean. As long as someone has an internet, they can, they can join you in your coaching. That's right. That's amazing. Uh, so this is good. Love it. Thank you guys so much, Mia. You are amazing. If I could give you a hug, I would, but of course this is the limitation. So this is a virtual, it's a virtual hug. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and everybody, thank you so much for, for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, there will be a replay of this particular video. So it's going to be fun, fun, fun stuff. You'll get an automatic email. I don't have to touch anything. You're just going to get it right away. As soon as I stop this broadcast, it's going to come to you probably in the next four or five hours. So just be aware of that. Um, all right. And if there are any other questions, one question to answer if, uh, in post, if Mia will be using easy webinar for her coaching. Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure if, are you using easy webinar for the actual live coaching sessions? Because I haven't I, that's, to that yet, Casey, it's only been three and a half or four weeks. All right. <laughs> I've only used I've only used, done three webinars, but I do intend to uh, incorporate it for all of my anything that I'm doing for my marketing because it definitely yeah. does work. So I know that for sure. Yeah, and and when I've done um, boot camp coaching sessions, guys, the thing that I use I didn't even have a I mean I've done membership platform stuff before, but uh, when I did the boot camp stuff. I just use easy webinar for the fulfillment of the program. So I ran 
two sessions per week. Uh, each session was the one was Q and a one was the, you know, the actual, the training session. And I ran them using easy webinars. So people would come just like you guys are watching now, but we'd have like maybe up to 10 people in the room. And then the rest of the people that were in the coaching program would be, uh, commenting and we could bring other people in. We can move them around, shuffle them around, bring other people into the room if we needed to. So, so that's, is how we did it. Um, when, when I've done it before. So, um, so yeah, you can of course use easy webinar as the fulfillment tool for your coaching as well. And I just want to say thank you, uh, Casey one for, you know, for the technology, cause it is so cutting edge and it's so timely today. Like it, to me, being able to use a platform like this allows any single person with like no list or, you know, not a big budget to have access immediately to tell their story or to share, you know, what they're offering out there in the marketplace. And it's a game changer. So I hope people will take you up on it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I mean, I tend to agree. I think that it's, it's extremely cutting edge and it can be used in many different industries. You know, the corporations aren't even really thinking about this, but technically it could be a, a, a game changer for how they do uh, inner office training and things like that, you know, where, you, you know, because obviously we track all the data of what people are doing in, during the webinar. So if you think about it, if you needed a pre, if you had to, to qualify, if you had to qualify or have someone go through a training of some kind and get a certificate, you'd know if they joined and if they watched the entire thing in order to, to do it. So there's, there's a lot of industries that could benefit, not just coaches uh, and consultants, but of course, you know, uh, we've had colleges and universities use it as well uh, for uh, doing online audits, you know, like an audit a class online, automated, and then uh, get them into enrollment into your uh, college. So it's we've seen we've seen a, a lot of cool stuff oh, throughout the years. But um, Mia, this was as I said, I, I, I'm a broken record. Amazing again. Um, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to follow up with you, uh, just to check to see how things are going. And I'd love for you to be a beta tester for the Facebook live analytic, um, uh, element that we're rolling out for, uh, full scope. So, um, it's not live in your account yet, but, uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be looking at betas, uh, to kind of test it out where, you know, it will tell you all the data of what's happening with your Facebook live uh, videos. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So you can track like who your most engaged people are, just like what full scope has been known for. You know, it's obvious. It's like, we we can tell you who your peeps are, who's the most engaged. We do the yes. same thing with Facebook live. So it's exciting stuff. Um, all right. Well, thank you again, guys. We're going to end this broadcast. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, it's Casey Zeman. If you need a, if you're here for the first time, um, what, what I will do is if you guys want to get access to easy webinar, you can do so. Uh, there's a link right there. It just popped in. Feel free to come on through. If you're, if this is one of your first times coming to one of our, our training sessions. Um, if you've been here before, if you've been sitting on the fence, I hope this just gave you a little insight as to what you could do with easy webinar. Um, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. So, uh, everybody thanks again. And I can't wait to, uh, to connect with you at some point inside our community. So uh, I'm going to end this broadcast uh, and um, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.